Happy Friday, everyone. A couple people have joined us. Mark Davis is here. Good to see you, Mark. I'd love to know who all else is here, so if you want to type your name over in the comment section, that'd be great. Also remember any prayers that you have. We could say those aloud together when it comes time to pray. We'll get started in about three minutes on page 103 of your Book of Common Prayer. If you don't have a BCP at home, you can go to BCP online and call up this service. About two more minutes and we'll get going. Hi Michael Mitchell, glad you're here. Vicki Bettis is here, wonderful. I hope you all have all seen that we're going to start our 8 o'clock service up again this week. So if you want to come to the 8 o'clock service, we can all be together again as the numbers are going down. We're looking at more ways we can expand our offerings over the next few weeks. It's an exciting time. Hi, Patricia. Glad you're here. Henry Aaron, you are here. I see that prayer request, so we will remember Steve when the time comes. Sally Hawks is here. She says, hello, wonderful. Y'all, we're also welcoming six new members to our church on Sunday, which is unbelievable that we can have new members during the pandemic. So be sure and tune in at 1030 to see those new folks in our, in our midst. Got about one more minute, and then we'll get going. Page 103 in your Book of Common Prayer. Margaret Amps is here. Wonderful. And Edie foot is here. That is great. And I'm seeing all these prayer requests. So remember, if you have one, put it over in the comments section. Kevin Durden it is at his science and engineering fair. Oh, how fun. That's great. Thank you for that. Sally will remember him. All right. It is noon, so we'll get started on page 103. Oh, God, make speed to save us. Oh, Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Psalm 119 at the bottom of that page. Your word is a lantern to my feet and a light upon my path. I have sworn and am determined to keep your righteous judgments. I am deeply troubled. Preserve my life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, O Lord, the willing tribute of my lips, and teach me your judgments. My life is always in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have set a trap for me, but I have not strayed from your commandments. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. Truly, they are the joy of my heart. I have applied my heart to fulfill your statutes forever and to the end. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The love of God has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. Thanks be to God. Well, as we head into our third Sunday in Lent, we'll be saying the Decalogue on Sunday, and the Ten Commandments are our Old Testament reading. And I love this uh, item in the psalm that says, Your decrees are the joy of my heart. So having that different relationship with rules and laws and commandments as being something that brings us joy and blessing is really a wonderful thing to remember in Lent. I also wanted to read to you a 
something from Stanley Hauerwas, Prayers Plainly Spoken. Uh, this is a uh, Kind of a funny prayer for uh, God's unrelenting and tiresome presence. Stanley Hauerwas says, Dear God, we confess that often we find your unrelenting presence tiresome. It is so hard to live seemingly caught between what it seems you want us to be and what we know we are. Help us to realize that our very pretensions of unworthiness are unworthy. <laughs> Make us glad to be your people, gathered into your church, celebrating the victory that is ours. I just, I just love that, that uh, we often don't feel like we are who God has called us to be. And even that is an illusion and a lie that we tell ourselves that we can be glad that we're God's people because that is our true identity and our true inheritance as people of faith. All right, continuing on page 106, right in the middle of the page. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Almighty Savior, who at noonday called your servant St. Paul to be an apostle to the Gentiles, we pray to you to illumine the world with the radiance of your glory, that all nations may come and worship you, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> and on page 815, number three, the prayer for the human family. O God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through, your, through Jesus, your Son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love. And work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth. That in your good time, all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now let's say some prayers. Dear God, we come before you today, a people who are faithful and committed to doing your work in the world. We hand over to you all our anxieties and fears, knowing you are big enough to hold them. We also hand over to you our joys and our happiness, knowing you're big enough to hold that with us too and celebrate with us in that love. And today, God, we ask special attention for those dealing with the COVID crisis, those giving vaccines, doctors, nurses, teachers, students, parents, all frontline workers, all delivery people, and people who are working in food service industry. We pray for our church, for our bishops, priests, deacons, and lay leaders. We pray for all who are hurting today and all who are praying with us today. We pray for Vicki Bettis, and she asks prayers for Heather's interview for today for a job that she really wants. May your will be done there, God. We pray for Sally Hawks, and she uh, gives blessings to Kevin Durden at a science and engineering fair interview and prays for blessings for him. We pray for Edie Proofoot, and she asks prayers for Greg and Kenneth. We pray for Margaret Amps. We pray for Patricia and her prayers for Lars, for Sally. Henry Aaron asks prayers for Steve, for Michael Mitchell, and for Mark Davis. And for anything else that we may name silently or aloud in our hearts at this time. Dear God, thank you for working in our lives more than in ways more than we can ask or imagine. Thank you for your love and grace that flows straight from the divine center of all creation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. That concludes Noonday Prayer. Thank you all for joining uh, this group to say our prayers together. It's always good to be with you on a Friday. Hope you enjoy the weekend, and remember, if you want to come to church, 8 o'clock is open again outdoors, um, so we'll be keeping you posted as the numbers go down around COVID. Y'all take care.